What's going on everybody? This is Kurt Rice at Kurt Rice Baseball. How is everybody doing this fine early, early, early Thursday mornings by almost 1230 here in Tennessee. Uh, so uh, recently a while back I got an email. They were like, hey, uh, hey, I'd see you like 44 Pro stuff a lot more than everything else and was wanting to know like you know what gear you have from them you know stuff like that so i said well you know i'll go ahead and do a video of um all my 44 pro gloves that i have uh just what kind of apparel i have i'm the apparel i'm wearing now uh is the shirt i have all these shirts these are no longer available i don't think uh these were the like dry wicking shirts that had the 44 pro they made them in, like navy red black and royal blue and i don't think they made it in white but i can't remember i know miss sydney romero wears one i've seen her wear one with like a navy and a red emblem but i don't know if they're no longer available and the hats of course this uh there's the hat here 44 i actually have my name put on it and then i actually went and had the 44 stitched in the back just like that at uh, Lids here in Tennessee. So actually I have my name stitched on it and stuff, which uh, what turned out pretty nice. The guy was like, yeah, I can do it exactly like that. So I had the 44 emblem stitched. I, I love their hats because the, the uh, mesh here is, um, it's no, not like a, uh, like a trucker hat or anything. It's a really uh, stretchy, soft mesh. So uh, I really love their hats. They're just hard to get a hold of because as soon as they put them on, you gotta snag one because uh, they sell out pretty quick and I can see why. So, um, and then um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. They make, a, they, make uh, they have two different websites, 44 Pro Gloves, which is where you're gonna find your t-shirts, your sleeves, headbands, hats, glove care products and of course your custom batting gloves and your custom um your custom baseball gloves and softball gloves and um 44 pro guards i believe 44 guards let me let me find their site real quick let me just 44 i believe it's 44 pro guards yes 44 pro guards Dot com is where you'll find their guards, which is your elbow, your for your batting hand. If you're batting right hand, it goes on your left hand. Um, uh, your your shin guards, and then they make actually make a sliding guard as well. So it's a hand, elbow, shin guard, and a sliding guard, which when you put it on your hand, it keeps your fingers together to keep. Your fingers from getting caught on your base and and uh which uh happens a lot uh in major league baseball where you see guys wearing that little that little mitt and it keeps your hands together so it doesn't mash your fingers back and now put you put you out for a couple weeks so um i just i'll just show you a few things real quick this is why they're my favorite company to deal with they do the batting gloves uh, and the custom made um, custom made baseball and softball gloves but it's so cool because uh, you can get your name stitched on them and the prices are uh, wonderful they're not really expensive I believe you can go on like Rawlings or Wilson and get a, a, a pro grade glove a pro grade glove and you're gonna pay about 250 to 300 dollars which when you order from 44 Pro, you're gonna get pretty much the same quality glove. Uh, the stitching is amazing on these gloves and the lace quality is out of this world on these gloves. And that's why I love their uh, company for one reason. So look, let me get right into this and I'll show you what they, what I have of them. Uh, there's their, they make a glove rub. So if you guys never had their glove rub, uh, I use it just specifically on their, the 44 Pros because it restores the color 
uh, a lot better. And they make this stuff. And when you rub this stuff on there, man, I'm, I'm telling y'all, this stuff smells wonderful. I mean, it sounds weird, but this stuff smells amazing. It ain't like a, like a Wilson Pro Stock glove conditioner where it smells just uh, crazy. Uh, this other stuff actually smells pretty well. So um, I was very impressed with it. So there's their 44 Pro Glove Rub. And it's hard to get a hold of that. Um, they actually make a kit, uh, a pounding pad, a mitt mallet, and this for like 150 bucks on their website, which is really cool. Um, so I'll get into it here. Here's their compression sleeves on 44progloves.com. You can get their compression sleeves and they have reversible headbands as well. So their compression sleeves are cool. They got the little 44 logo right there, which is on my shirt. Um, they help with like uh, keeping your arm warm, you know, keeping it from getting uh, your arm uh, hurt or whatever, which is what compression uh, does. It keeps your muscles warm, all that good stuff. And I'll just show you my batting glove collection. I've got a lot. I just got a new pair of the other, like yesterday, or no, two days ago. So I'll start with this stack here. Um, these are my, uh, these are ones from my daughter. It says daddy on it. Uh, got a, uh, kind of a United States color, kind of. Uh, there's those, kind of gold, silver, and white. These are the ones that say daddy. These are all gold and white right here. And I have these. So I got black. They're almost the same color as the ones I just had, but I put daddy in black. <coughs> There's those. And here are <coughs> some of my very first ones I ever ordered. That's the black and white here. Um, I got kind of a United States color, but I put the 44 in gold and then my name in gold. And I have a bl all black and white pair, a black and gold pair, excuse me, which turned out very nice. And then this is a um, navy blue, gold, and red pair, which is pretty cool. Um, I got quite a bit. I think I got about 16 or 17 pairs of these. Uh, this is a royal blue, gold, and red pair. Here's a red. Here's an all red and all blue with the gold emblem right here. Just kind of playing with those. These are kind of an ALO style. Uh, ALO, he's a retired baseball player, college ball player. If y'all ever followed his uh, YouTube page, um, those turned out pretty nice. I liked them. Pretty sharp. Uh, here's one I found on. Uh, I believe it was uh, Benny, yeah, Benny Miller. Uh, he's one of the uh, main guys at 44 Pro. Um, he had Hope wrote on uh, a cancer awareness. Uh, uh, he made his, uh, I believe it was one of his guards or something. And I got the idea to put Hope right here. I made these like for cancer awareness. So those turned out pretty sharp. So if I ever play like going to, a baseball game or if I ever played again for like just a cancer game or like in softball right over here at Heritage Park they they do on a Sunday in a men's league during the spring they'll do a they'll do that on Sundays so those turned out pretty nice and I have uh, here's another black and gold pair but the mesh uh, i put in i believe it's called ivory i think it's ivory it's almost like gold so those turn out pretty sharp um i have an silver and gold pair those turn out really cool and these are the ones i got yesterday two days ago that i ordered uh were silver and gray and blue Got the little logo there. 
And then these are probably my favorites. I, bought, I have two pair of these. These are probably my favorites. Uh, these right here. These are these are my favorite colors that I that I have. And I bought two pair just because uh, I was using these quite a bit. And you can tell the, the little <laughs> the little plastic. I was using these quite a bit, and I didn't want to wait. If I tore a hole in, I didn't want to wait another three weeks to get my pair. So. I got uh, another pair. So these are probably my favorites. They're the same colors and everything. So um, there. That's all my batting gloves. I'm going to come on two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seven, seventeen pair of batting gloves is how many I got. So. 17 pair, that's quite a bit. And wife was like, wow. Says, do you think you need any more? I was like, well, you know, when I when I come up with colors in my head and I, I go on the website and do it, and it's like, eh, it's tempting because they're 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 really cheap, and especially when they run sales, Valentine's Day, President's Day, Christmas, um, Labor Day, you know, July 4th, stuff like that. It's hard to turn down, you know, batting gloves that cost what thirty, what thirty-eight dollars total. That's on when they're on sale. When they're not on sale, you're looking at like forty-seven to forty-eight dollars. Depends on where you live too. I think how many taxes they take and everything else. But it's hard to, you know, turn down when when you make a batting glove and you put it in your cart. And uh, it's hard to turn down batting gloves that cost. Uh, you know, you go to Dick's and you get a pair of Franklin's and, um, you know, they're $45. And, um, what I don't like about original batting gloves is where the palm is. When I went to these and I'll just show you real quick, uh, the difference that I found with the 44s and the originals, and I don't have Franklin's anymore. Um, when I went to these bat, when I went to these uh, batting gloves, I never went back. So <clears throat> basically, Benny explained it to him, to it to a T on his uh, on his uh, YouTube page. Uh, basically, it's got a two strap system right here. Which I thought was was really cool at first. I was like, man, those look cool with that two strap system. Well, now I don't know why they put it on there. And the reason they put this on here is because um, they they talked to a lot of college and a lot of pro players, and they says that um, right through the middle, what they didn't like about original batting gloves is right through the middle they were losing grit through here. So. If there's a video uh, on my YouTube page, I believe it's the, the review of my 44 Pro batting gloves, or it's the first one, where I did a comparison. And basically what it was, was if I wore original batting glove with just one strap, it would bunch up through the palm. That's where they was having trouble with gripping their bat. As you notice, if I undo the palm, I can pull all this now if I strap it up I can't hardly pull anything so what it does it doesn't bunch up through the palm area which is what I really love about these batting gloves plus you can customize it any way that you want the colors here the mesh color this color even that the logo color of the outside you can customize and you can put your name on here as well which I thought that was cool because you know, you lose your batting gloves, it's going to have your name on it or, you know, whatever you wrote on it. So these, I've never gone back. Ever since I've used these, I've never gone back to Franklin's or anything. So uh, they they really work well. If you want a batting glove that's going to last you a good minute and you don't want to pay the, the you know, pay the 45 to $50 for Franklin's and you, you can wait about three weeks and get them customized, get you like maybe two pair, and you can customize them and have your own name, like team colors and stuff, these are the way to go. No other glove company sells uh, batting gloves, not like Rico or anything else. Now, if, 
if they do, you know, put down in a comment section below. below. But, uh, you know, as far as I know, Rico and none of them that do the custom gloves sell custom batting gloves like 44 Pro does. So there's my batting glove collection. You see my compressed sleeve, my little apparel, and you know, the, um, the uh, glove care stuff. Uh, they make a underglove for, uh, <clears throat> like, you know, if you wear, um, you know, you like an underglove, like a batting glove up underneath your original fielding glove. Uh, this one is very cool. Of course, on a catcher's mitt, uh, when I'm catching, I wear the team defender glove because of the simple fact that it has that thumb guard right there and it will prevent your thumb from getting... Uh, jacked up, but this is very comfortable. I'm telling y'all I bought this for how much was it? I can't remember maybe $25 maybe maybe more than that maybe less. I'm, I'm not sure but uh, The the glove you can't even tell it's on your hand. It's so comfortable. It's kind of cool It's got the logo right there and it's got that section where it stings your hand very comfortable glove I wear this under my uh, my gloves i just ordered me a 44 pro second baseman's glove an infielder's glove because that was my secondary position when i wasn't catching i played uh second um so um uh this right here glove right here uh is wonderful it's very comfortable i'm not just saying that just because i'm a 44 pro guy i'm saying that because um you know I actually got the product and it works. And what's cool about it is, is they put the strap underneath, not on top. So when you slide it on and you're not gonna ha like hit the uh, binding and stuff on your glove, you're not, gonna, you're not gonna hit all that. So it goes underneath, underneath right here, which I thought was a pretty neat idea. So 44 Pro's got it going on, man, I'm telling you. So this is very comfortable. Uh, but um, as far as the price, I think it was like $25, maybe more. Um, quote, don't quote me on it, but uh, very comfortable underglove. I wear it when I wear a, like a, a fielding glove, an you know, infielder's glove. So that's the only one I wear and it, you know, it works out pretty well. It's uh, very comfortable. So now let's get to my gloves real quick. Um, I have three catcher's mitts from them. Like I ordered me a fielding glove. There is my catcher. One of my catcher's mitts made to look like an all-star almost, which you can do that with 44s. You can make do it to where you they look like a, a uh, all-star glove. There's my name, of course. The stitching is amazing. Um, and there's the you know the color colorways and stuff it's navy red and white and the lacing on these things are excellent they're not cheap at all on these catcher's mitts at all there's one of my gloves i'll go to my second one which this is the one that i did the dunking on and there's my team defender glove that i wear for my catcher you, from under my catcher's mitts and you can tell it's got that hard piece so it doesn't so it doesn't hurt your thumb that's besides the point uh, this is the one that I did a video on of how I if I'm having a hard time breaking in uh, a catcher's mitt or you know like a 44 pro glove I, I, I water dumped it and it didn't hurt it at all it didn't hurt it at all uh, the only thing you got to re remember is when you do dunk a glove, you got to remember to you got to wait for at least three days to dry, and you got to condition the entire every square inch of it. I'm talking about laces, everything uh, up underneath here, and everything. Here's my name on it. Uh, made it look like an all star again, and I love the colorways. And I, I put the all star wrist guards on there too. So, um, but yeah, I love the, love how it, uh, turned out, turned out great. Uh, it, it's good and well broken in now, man. These, these first two were pretty hard to break in. I won't, I won't be dunking my other glove. Now when you dunk it, 
uh, like I say in my other video, my Duncan video, it's it's how I do it. You know, 44 Pro's gonna tell you not to do it, and that's cool. You know, everybody's got their own way of breaking in their glove. I wouldn't recommend putting them in the microwave, none of that stuff. Don't put them in the microwave where it tears up your leather. You know, uh, all water dunking it does, like hot dunking it, is it does, um, it just softens the leather and a mitt mallet that helps soften the leather. So, and I'll get to my third glove real quick. Yeah, which is the one I just did my recent video. There's my Team Defender. And there is my third glove right here, which is the one the wife and the kiddo did for me. And as you can see, it says Daddy right there. And I thought this one turned out great. I got this off their web, their um, YouTube channel where they have the glove spinning and one person did a glove and it turned out amazing. And it was pretty similar to this. And I, I got the colorway from that. So it says daddy, 44. I didn't do it like a, I didn't do the Velcro strap. I did the regular uh, lace right through here. And I thought these, this one turned out really nice. I won't be dunking this one because this is just a, a throw glove. It's a glove for my daughter. And what, what was really cool is this right here. Down in the comments, you can tell them, hey, I want right in between the verticals and the web knot, I want the 44 logo put right there in whatever color. And they did that, they stitched it right on there and it's just amazing. You can do pretty much anything you want to these gloves and they just turn out great. So um, this is why I like 44 Pro over any, any company that I've ever had. Um, I've had All Stars. Um, you know, all stars are great, but they're really expensive. Uh, I didn't hear, you know, I didn't really start getting into 44 Pros till like almost right after, uh, yeah, it was right after I quit playing ball when I was like 39 years old. I'll be 42 Saturday, this Saturday, so. But, <clears throat> and when I found out about them, I was like, oh, I'll give them a shot. And during COVID year, I bought two gloves. It took them about another two weeks to get it because it was COVID and stuff like that. But when I got them, I was just so amazed by them. So that's why I'm showing you guys that this company is no slouch at all. This company is a great company uh, to get a customized ba uh, those. Uh, all three of them gloves a piece were like 195. If you do them on sale. If you do them on sale, I think they might be a little cheaper, but I got the most expensive leather, like the Kip leather, which is from a young cattle. Um, that's what Kip leather means, because I Googled it, so. <laughs> so anyway, um, but um, that's why 44 Pro, their batting gloves and their fielding gloves, catcher's mitts, everything. That's why a lot of professional ball players use them now. So um, I would highly recommend if you want a, a good glove for the quality of price. I tell guys that I used to play ball with around here, I relace gloves on the side, and they're like, "Do they? Like, oh, are they really good gloves?" I say, "Yes," and I take it to them, and they're like, "Wow, those are good quality gloves." So um, you got a chance, get you one. These people are wonderful to work with. They're great, great company. So. I just wanted to show you what my 44 Pro collection looked like. Um, and if anybody has any questions, leave a comment down below. And before I go, uh, I'll show you how big of a, how big of a, uh, I guess a, not a fan, but I mean, just, just how, just how big of a 44, I guess a fan, 44 Pro fan I am. Uh, I even went and got their tattoo uh, etched on my arm. And I sent it to them, and they was a, they was really excited. I sent it to Benny, and I sent it to the 44. It's on Instagram. Uh, it's on my Instagram, kurt.rice.9. And then it's on 44 Pro Gloves uh, Instagram page. You'll see my picture on there. I trimmed my beard down. Yesterday it was long. Now it's trimmed down. So, But I got their tattoo their logo tattooed i'll make sure i called them make sure i wasn't violating any copyright laws and i says hey go for it 
And uh, I did it and I sent it to them and they blew it up all over Instagram and stuff. So I was excited about that. So just wanted to show you guys that. That's how big of a 44 Pro fan I am. And that's commitment pretty much. So, but anyway, I've, uh, if anybody has any questions about 44 Pro batting gloves, uh, uh, their fielding gloves, catcher's mitts, anything like that, um, please let me know. Go to the website, website 44progloves.com. And then if you want a, a elbow guard, uh, a hand guard, you know, uh, a shin guard or um, the uh, mitt that when you're running the bases, go to 44proguards.com. They're two different websites. So uh, if anybody has any other questions, leave a comment down below. This is Kurt Rice of Kurt Rice Baseball. God have a blessed day.